Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I thought I would just show an art journal page I created and explain how I made it just for some art journal inspiration. Maybe you needed a new idea for something to try on one of your art journal pages. So when we art journal, um, a lot of times I do really cutesy things, a lot of frou-frou, a lot of paper dolls, a lot of things like that. And I have a large Ranger Dilutions art journal here and I'm doing it the long way. So instead of this way, I'm doing this whole book like this. So there's one idea right there for trying something different to do your pages long and make them long and tall. This book is a private book that I don't normally show the pages and it's my personal journal for just, it's like venting. Um, that's another great therapeutic reason to art journal is when, um, you know, you don't always have to do things that are fun and happy when things are getting on your nerves or you're sad or you have certain things that you really want to share, um, but you don't want to share with someone. You can write them in your art journal and make a journal just for yourself, not for other eyes. But this page is really fun and I just thought I would share. So um, I'm sure we all get those days where everything gets on your nerves. It seems like every little thing, noises, people, uh, dropping things, breaking things, nothing goes right. It's just one of those days where you just want to go back to bed and cover up your head because everything bugs you. So I wanted to make a page of everything's bugging me. So this page has got um, some frustrated girls screaming at the top and at the bottom. And I've got the words that I used out of um, letters I cut out of magazines. So that's kind of ransom style where you just lay them out on the page. And so I've got the word everything's and I put in these words bugging me. Everything's bugging me. So I just added a bunch of bugs all over the page. I did some stamped bugs, some cutout bugs, some um, bugs out of magazines. I made this girl the body is from a magazine image the face is a uh, jane davenport rubber stamp that i uh, stamped and colored those big wings came from graphics fairy it's free clip art it was a great big paper doll that you make and i just use the wings so i printed it out cut them out so where you find your items to put on your page it can be from all different places. But I just thought this was really fun. I've got bugs everywhere. I wrote things like some some days things just get on my nerves. Um, upside did some upside down journaling of the things that get on my nerves. So this is my everything's bugging me page. Um, I started it for the background. I just used acrylic paint and a baby wipe. I did a Sid circles down here. In yellow and orange I did the greens and the yellow and orange all through the background and then I just took a Tombow mono drawing pen and made a mandala down here for the butterfly to be sitting on kind of a mandala I did half circles when I cut out this one um, just drew with a paint pen around this one to make circles like that and one of the last things that I like to do is to take a charcoal pencil and then this is a little um, round paintbrush that I cut off. I've shown this before. I made it into a, like a little tiny scrubber. And I like to go around and add shadows on things. So like on this girl butterfly, I'm gonna just come around here with my charcoal pencil. And as my final step, I'm gonna just charcoal and scrub it out to add like a, um, a cast shadow. And it just makes that It'll just make that pop off the page even more. So see how that shadow looks. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. I also like to take my Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2. These are Neo Colors right here. And I love to use Neo Colors on pages. So you can come right onto the page with your Neo Color like to add a little color behind her to make her pop even more. I'm gonna just color a little bit. And then I'm going to just take my finger and just let the warmth of my finger blend it out. Maybe even dampen my fingertip a little tiny bit. You can use Q-tips too. I got Q-tips out to show you that. But see how that color just makes it, makes that 
image pop even more because neo colors are so bright so look at that nice bright color behind her so like right here i could put some orange i'm going to take a really bright orange and do the same thing right here so i'm just going to come in with my neo color and color and then blend it out with a q-tip if you don't want to get it on your fingers just use a q-tip Neo colors are so nice and versatile, and they look so pretty on art journal pages and especially um, on top of acrylic paint. So see, look at how that makes that pop. So if I do that all the way around here with some really bright colors, that is going to really pop off the page. Up here in this, like where there's this girl, let me work on her a little bit. I'm going to turn this upside down just so I can get it in camera and zero in and show you. Okay, I'm going to take some orange and the same thing. Watch how this is just going to bring that to life. So if you've never tried Neo Colors and you've seen maybe I've got um, a couple videos on Neo Color techniques and you've never seen Neo Colors, these things are just so fun to play with. You can use a water brush. You can use Q-tips. You can use a little scrubber. You can use your finger and blend it out and add a really nice pop of color. And when I show you this straight up, you'll see the difference in what that did to add some bright pop of color behind that screaming girl. <laughs> okay. So now look at it. Wow, she pops right off the page. I love it. You can really see her screaming. Same with this one down here. It's very plain, very blue and very plain. And if I add some bright neo color around her, that's not bright enough. Let's find something brighter. Just add some neo color around it. You can also do that with the charcoal. There's also white charcoal that you can use white. But this is just a really fun way of making that come to life. And let me show you that with a water brush. So I'm going to take the water brush and blend this one out. So that's it. Just wanted to show you a quick page idea of, hey, if stuff's bugging you, find a bunch of pictures of bugs. Look in uh, books, in an encyclopedia that you're upcycling. Look up different bugs and get their pictures. Um, magazines, images on clip art, images on the internet. Um, that's where I got these, the girls screaming was just free clip art internet images. And I just printed them out on regular uh, computer paper. And it made a cute focal on here because I really wanted to convey just when you're frustrated and you're just screaming because you're just everything's bugging you. So this is just a really fun page. Make a page where you express that things are getting on your nerves and bugging you. Instead of always doing pretty flowers and pretty, pretty things. It's fun sometimes to just do your art journal and let it just be expressive for how you're feeling. I'm putting some charcoal around here. And the last thing I always do is to spray the page with a um, matte varnish sealer. And then once the sealer completely dries, then I put some Gemblin cold wax over it and rub it with my finger. Buff it out, and then nothing will, your page won't stick together. And that's it. So I'm just going to add some more cast shadows. See, look at how that blue just made her pop, and then the orange up here made her pop. And then I'm adding some colors around the main character on the page. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and this gave you some art journal inspiration. So go make some art, because art soothes the heart. Mm -hmm.